Took the loneliest road to get back home. Only talked to my moms if it's over the phone. Had to do it myself, had to share what I've grown. So I write all these songs just to write out my wrongs for too long. I've been sitting back, thinking that, and this the wrong path. Then I start from scratch when that pressure on, nigga. Don't cut no slack, kick your fall to the mat, nigga. Bounce right back, becoming a better person. Tell him he's still the nursing. Hell yeah, I did it in Austin and universes. I cracked my entire surface. I crafted all these verses, then I did so much rehearsing all this show. You ain't perfect. Greetings, welcome to part two. Now, before we were so rudely interrupted, let's get back to this hair. But before we do that, let me show you how to make this hot oil treatment for that hair. All right, let's go. All right, and usually when it comes to treatments, I usually do an oil treatment. And um, like I say, particularly since I had um, neglected my hair a little bit, than more than normal i'm going to use some oils that are great humectants great for moisturizing moisturization here uh as you can see i got some castor oil you know what I'm saying? and i have some extra virgin olive oil so i just try to make sure my olive oil i get different brands of olive oil i just try to make sure it's first cold press and it's extra virgin olive oil and um, like this one came in a dark container, which I think is great because as we all know, dark containers um, stop the rays or light, uh, light rays or sunlight rays from penetrating um, so quickly into the um, oils, which damages some of the healthy properties within the oil. So, you know, there's certain things I look for that I know. And if I see it, you know, I grab it. Here are two empty containers. Yes, I'm a big reuser, upcycler of old containers. And this one did have some honey in it. I didn't even take the honey out. I left it in there because honey's good for your hair too. So um, basically I'm going to do castor oil and olive oil mix in both because I have a lot of hair. So I have to do two of these. Uh-oh. No. Let me So let's see here. So I can see a level. I drop that. I like to do about half and half. Don't mind my munching over here. She's just tearing up some stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, olive oil the rest of the way. Leave a little room so I can shake that. So yeah, this is what I um this is how much I use. I put that on and then you, know, you tighten it and you shake it. Shake it, mix it together. And I think I might go sit them in the sun while my hair is deep conditioned. Can I have can I have my top please? Thank you. Oh yes, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Uh -oh. Put my top on there. Also shake this one up. I'm going to sit them in the sun just so they can warm up a little bit. Because I'm still on my deep plants. You know. I have two bags because I can no longer use those um, play play plastic bags. Okay, I call them play play plastic bags because they don't do nothing for my hair. So, yeah. I use two grocery bags. I'm going to show you how I do that. And, yeah. So stay tuned. Okie dokie. Now we're going to wash out the second deep cleanse here. Cool water.
Mm, this just feels good, by the way. Like, I don't know. It's just, mm. Like, it's kind of itching a little bit. Feels good. Cool water. Rinsing all the debris off of the hair. While wow, everything is closed. Make sure it's all out. This is going to go straight into our oil treatment. As you can see, I already got my oils right there that I've already mixed with the olive oil and cast oil and shook up. Making sure we get it all out. Now, by the time you do this second wash, you're gonna be feeling real like your hair gonna be feeling real cleansed and light. Well, not too light because you know it's wet, but you're gonna know the dip. You're gonna feel what I'm talking about. You're gonna feel it. So. so this is clean, clean hair. We're going to start with the oil treatment. Alright. Going to do a little warm water here. I'll open up the pores. And cuticle up in here. Don't mind me. I just got a little, little shampoo on my face. And burning. Alright. Warm water. We're gonna open up the pores, the cuticle, because now we're applying uh, product that we want to penetrate. We want to help it penetrate. So we're gonna open up the hair to receive these nutrients. I like to make sure I'm soaking my hair. My hair is so thick, I have to part it to make sure it gets drenched. So that's why a lot of the time you see me parting my hair and wetting it because it is very thick. And if I do not get in it in between, it can be patches or spots I'm missing in my hair. You know, that won't get the TLC that it needs. So, okay. That's all nice and warm. I like to try to leave that opening with the water, hot water to a minimum because, you know, like, don't forget, you know, we know, we know we do have chemicals that come out of our tap. So, you know, the less exposure you have or the less time you spend with it open, being exposed to that, the better. So, now we're going to apply our oil. Shake it up again. And then... What we're trying to achieve here is total saturation from root to tip. That's what we're doing here. We're treating the whole hair from root to tip. So, this does take a little time. Make sure you're rubbing it in at the same time, massaging it in, you know, all that good stuff. And all these things help hair thickness, hair strength, and hair growth. So, these are good habits to have a part of your hair regimen.
you can see, pretty much all of my locks are saturated. From Rooted to Tootie with oil. This is how I do it. Kind of crazy off on all, but anyway. Yeah. And then I also did like a very deep, I mean, I can't help it because it just be feeling so good to me. So I just, it's like automatic for me. So this is, I don't know, I guess this is another thing I can attest a lot of my hair work to. It's just really like, you know, some really good scalp massages. Even when I showed you when you moisturize your hair, it's great to do scalp massage. It's great to inversion, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you want to flip yourself upside down for the total inversion, but you know, work those fingers in there. Finger tips, not fingernails. Finger tips, you know? And I just worked it through the whole hair, the whole hair. And uh, yeah, so most of the time I usually use like one of those and like the half of the other one or most of the other one. So I don't need any more. I'm good actually. So now I'm gonna show you how I do this with bags. Oh my god, that feels so good back there. Sorry, I'm just I be in another world when it comes to the scalp massage. And I love to do it in the front too. I love it. Okay, now let's put these bags on. Okay, so I have the oil in my hair. Just to do a quick once around, as you can see, like all of those. Like, yeah, I totally get down in, into my scalp. I don't play no games with these fingertips, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. I just flicked the oil on the thing. <sighs> uh, anyway, yeah. Just be careful. You can flick oil everywhere and it can be over. <laughs> I already had the mirror. Try not to. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Putting the bag on. I like to bring my hair forward first. Like this. Put the bag. Can you see? No, nope, you can't see. So let's do this. Yep. Then. So my head is over. I'm trying to make sure I have you in. Yeah. Okay. Head is over. Get into the bag. Sling it around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Okay. So it's like this. And basically, what I do is let's bring it up. So it's like this. And I come around. Hair in the bag. Shabam. Don't you like it? Alright. So I do a quick knot here. Make sure you don't catch nothing on the edge. It's not. Double knot. Uh-oh. And you know, what's the great thing about this is that they're free. You know, you can all get them at your local Walmart. You can get them with any groceries that you have. <laughs> it's just awesome. So, yep. Gotta excuse my camera's a little off. Damn. Okay. Here it is. And scoop that one in. Same way. It's easy. It's not nothing complicated. All the oil drips down in the bag. 
And as it drips down, it coats all the, you know, other ends of the hair. Well, I'm sorry, the lower, the first hairs, as I should say, the first hairs that emerge. It coats the whole entire strand. So, yeah. Now I can wipe the juices off of me. I got the light on in there, you know. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. And basically I just do that. And like, you know, I'll tie this up or something. So I'm so, so like, We're gonna see. See that. So, just in case you gotta go out somewhere right quick, you know, we ain't looking at you all crazy. You, yeah. cause I've had those looks. I'm like, what are you doing? Now look, check this out. Save the money. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> nah. You know, something easy, simple. You know, I'm gonna just cover up the bag right there. And uh, yeah, it ain't gotta be perfect. You know, just something to like. This will probably stay for a couple of hours because I got some housework to do and whatnot. So. Yeah, I'm going to probably keep it covered for about two hours. I mean, I need the treatment. You know, my hair's been good to me. I need, I need to be good to it. I'm hot. Excuse me. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to come back with you with the skin. We're going to get my skin going. So. <laughs> That's it. And when it leaves, play my guts, not. And when the hunt starts, it won't stop. And now my eyes are turning to blood shot. As I stare it down, our eyes lock. You ain't getting away, I cannot end this day with a loss. How I beat your arm, and I'm